<laughs> Angelo. You guys. Hello. Okay. Autumn. You already know from the title, I'm Andy Bonnie. It is currently, what, 12.43? 12.43 a.m. I'm supposed to be sleeping. Actually, before I do that, I need to use the restroom. Give me one moment. So as I was saying, um, we are in Dubai. Yes, your girl is celebrating her 25th in Dubai. I am so, so excited. Even though I'm supposed to be asleep right now but this is like the first day that we have arrived y'all who child i've traveled a bit but this i don't know what's going on first of all getting to hartsfield the line was so long so we flew qatar um and if you are not familiar with qatar qatar is like number two or three best airline in the world and you know, I just expected being the best airline junk, we wouldn't have to wait in such long lines, but we did. It's okay. By God's grace, we'll be able to afford business class next year. But yeah, the lines were so long. So when I said three hours, yeah, three hours was what it was. But we ended up getting there and our flight was delayed because of rain and etc. So there was that that delayed us and so we were supposed to stop over in Doha Qatar and we we're supposed to have like a two two close to three hour layover but we got there and yeah it was a marathon we were sprinting like my track skills mm -hmm, came into full swing I was running I got lost from the group <laughs> of course it would be me so yeah but we ended up making it but it was just a lot it was a lot the flight was long in total it was like a 17 hour with all the layovers and everything and i was just like i don't think i want to do this again also i didn't like use the restroom because something about me psychologically i just cannot use restrooms that are not mine so yeah i arrived here and finally used the restroom tmi but whatever you guys know um, but Qatar, definitely love the food and the service we were given. The food was amazing. Like, you know, I'm a Delta girly, but Delta needs to step it up. Like, for real, for real. I don't know what Delta is doing. I don't know why we pay so much and we're not getting the service of Qatar. But anyway, that's another story for another day. I am here getting ready, as you can see. Need to take a shower to wash off all this grime and dirt because that's nasty. But the hotel, you guys, is so nice. Five star. It's a Sheraton. It has a spa. It has five restaurants, um, a gym, a pool. And then we booked with breakfast. So we're having breakfast buffet. Yeah, your girl's about to get so much content. If you're not following me on IG, I don't know what you're doing. You're missing all the content. Go ahead. Follow me. IG. Anyway, so yeah, now I'm trying to get ready because we don't have like a early day the way I planned it 
was we basically rest a lot of the day. Our day doesn't start until like 1.30 p.m. And yeah, 1.30 p.m. Dubai is like eight hours ahead of Atlanta. So yeah, maybe that's why I'm not tired right now, but I actually need to sleep and get myself adjusted. So yeah, just getting myself ready for bed, but I just wanted to like check in with you guys, let you guys know your girl's here, 25. Maybe I can find my Habibi here, you know? So yeah, and also shout out to my friends who also came with me. Like, no, you guys, I don't, y'all don't understand, but I actually appreciate them so much because this trip is not cheap. It, it's a bit pricey. The fact that they're able to do this for me, I just cannot express the words. So shout out to Autumn, Angelo, my brother, and Adugo, you know, and also shout out to my parents, you know, they sponsored the girl with the hair, siblings sponsored with the nails, you know, they really got your girl together for this whole trip because I'm turning 25. Honestly, thinking about that is like so surreal. I still feel like I, I'm, I just turned 20. So that's interesting, but I'm so excited, so happy. I will give you guys a room tour when I have like refresh myself because your girl looking, she, she not looking good. But yeah, that is it for me. Just wanted to tune in and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. In the meantime, go ahead, like, subscribe, share with your friends because this, this vlog is about to be full of a lot of content, a lot of good content and I'll be including prices and stuff. I've planned this trip for like, honestly, when I started college at Tech, I said I always I want to go to Dubai for my birthday. So, what six years later, my 25th, I finally able to happen. And I told everyone like two years ago. So, everyone who took it serious started planning and everything. So again, you know, you, you guys know me. I'm a very timely person. <laughs> I don't just th do things out of the spur of the moment. But yeah, everything has been planned and booked. And so that is it for me, guys. I need to go ahead and get ready. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Honestly, I'm tired. I was really restless the, the entire night, but that doesn't matter. We're out here trying to have fun and we're up. So yeah, I just finished preparing like my little goodies for my friends. Honestly, with the way this heat looking, it's definitely perfect. And I bought this stuff maybe like Christmas time because everything was like really cheap. So very happy about that we are just trying to go and get breakfast so yes you know lounge where it is so we're just getting ready to get breakfast i'm really upset with the boys they already went down and got breakfast they didn't even tell you what they just oh, were like wow. going down like i was just like wow, oh, wow. well done <laughs> but anyway hopefully breakfast will be nice it's buffet style and it came included with our stay and whatnot Honestly, I'm really happy with this place giving what it needs to give. This hotel, it's very nice because first of all, it's only about 10 minutes away from the airport. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, being far out, far away or whatnot. So I like that. Also, when we got there, they were opening our doors and everything. I'm loco, just, just excuse me. But you know, they were opening our doors. They got all our luggage ready and everything. They delivered it to our room. I was like, this is what five star is all about. I need to be doing this more. God needs to bless me more. But anyway, we're there, we did that. Customer service was great, but 
yeah, we got to our room. Like, check out, you already know the spill. I talked to y'all last night. So, yeah, today what we will be doing today is kind of light. We're starting our day light because we need to rest and recuperate. So, after breakfast, we're going to go ahead and go to something called the Rain Room. I don't know the exact name. I'm going to put it here so you guys can see. But it's kind of like a museum type thing, illusion. So, I definitely, y'all already know me. I love museums. I love illusions. So, we're going there. And then after, we're going to the mall. And then we're going to end our night at Anesh. If y'all are familiar with Anesh, Anesh is a Nigerian cuisine restaurant. And you know, your girl got to eat Nigerian food everywhere she goes. So, yeah, itinerary today. But yeah, I think that's it. That, 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 that's about it. So now I'm going to introduce you guys. Say hello to Adugo. Hello, ma'am. Anything you want to say for the gram? How are you feeling? Actually, that that's the question. How are you feeling, Adugo? I'm good. Feeling good. I'm in Dubai. It's great. It's apparently I was snoring, but... <laughs> that's a very funny way. Um, she never snores, you guys. No, so no. you know she was tired. Weird. That flight, it was long. Oh, so, it's okay, though. It's all good. I'm here with one of my besties. And she's so pretty. You see her? I don't hang out with pretty people. Oh, I keep saying this. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm happy to be here. Happy to celebrate with Miss Peace. It's gonna be lit. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for Autumn to get our food so we can eat and I can distribute these. No, you guys, I'm actually so excited about these gifts. I'm actually so excited about these gifts because, like, it's definitely gonna be so useful. I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And my mom was like, don't you think you're doing a bit much? Because I was like, no. <laughs> they did a, bit, a lot much for buying these tickets. That's already a much. So very very happy about that and also i'll be showing you guys like i'll give you all a tour of the hotel and everything maybe when we come back from breakfast so i might be giving you a tour of the room but it's kind of messy already so i think i got some footage on my phone so that'll be here as well other than that that is it for me i will try to check in with you guys as we go oh, adam's here come 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 So the question I, I'm asking is like, how do you feel? Like waking up, how do you feel? You know, ask me after we eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is the fit. Hey guys, so we just finished with the rain room. room. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. I okay. got wet though. Yeah, we still got wet just a little bit. You, the, the process is like you have to walk really, really slow and then you won't get wet. I guess it's like censored or something. So like, yeah, that's the only logic I have for that. Yeah. I'm wet, but it's okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, because it's hot yeah. out here. Ooh. So now we are on our way to Dubai. Mall, so 
shopping Let's and go. eats in and everything else. <laughs> so we're just waiting. Legs. Waiting for Uber. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Actually, we're officially at the Dubai Mall. This mall has, what is it, an H&M for home? I'm just like, America just doesn't have things. Or maybe America does, and I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be in here for a while. Touring, doing things, buying things. I have a bias and kaftans that I'm trying to buy, so yeah. Any words? How are you guys feeling? Good. Ready for some boba. Some boba. Bubble boba. Starbucks here matches the vibes so we're definitely coming back I have boba so I'm very content <laughs> and now we're just going through Chinatown I'm hoping we can find some fried rice because I actually do feel like eating fried rice She's dancing, dancing for us. You guys got a special treat. We are going to Anesh, you guys. My general restaurant. I feel like we're all so tired. We are. Yeah. What are well, at least we have our early dinner, so we can go to sleep. I think we did pretty good. That's what I'm Yeah, you look tired. I'm out rallying for a night out. I got a monster waiting in my fridge. Oh my goodness.
so we're going to eat some cheap, not cheap, but like, you know, more affordable Asian food, so yeah, it's really nice in here, it's really cute. They also have outdoor seating as well. Adugo, how are you feeling? Great. Don't laugh. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Autumn, how are you? I'm feeling amazing and exhausted. <laughs> I'm going out tonight. <laughs> Sorry for him. I'm feeling good, man. Like, nothing to complain about. Everyone's good. We're just going to eat some food. And I can go to sleep. Like, I actually feel like sleeping. So. It's day two. I didn't finish up the vlog from yesterday, but I was tired, knocked out, literally, like quite literally. But it's another day. We're up. I look a little dusty, but it's okay because we're gonna get ourselves together. But anyway, like I said, today's day two. We are up very, very early. Our activities start at 9 a.m., so we're all trying to get ready. Um, make breakfast and then go to our different activities I didn't get to bring you guys along breakfast so today I will actually bring you guys along because there was actually a wide selection it's buffet style breakfast and I was full yesterday so I'm gonna show you guys the whole you know display today well actually yesterday we ended our night at um, Kimura what was it called yeah, we ended our day at Kimura Ya is a Japanese authentic restaurant that was located in our hotel. If I did say this already, our hotel actually has about five restaurants. And so, yeah, if we really didn't want to leave our hotel, we didn't have to. But yeah, it was okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wasn't feeling um, what I got because I don't know if I've ever said this, I don't like runny eggs. Like, it's just, it's a texture thing. I like eating food, but I cannot stand runny eggs. So for all of you food connoisseurs or whatever, like, oh, she doesn't like runny eggs. Well, whatever, that's your own problem. I don't like runny eggs. <laughs> so it kind of ruined my experience, I would say. Everybody else seemed to like enjoy their food and it was a pretty decent price. I think, my meal was around like 56 80 or 56 dirhams i don't know what that translates to but i'll put it somewhere here what that translates to but yeah yesterday was fun i think the highlight was definitely the rain room for me i definitely love like the whole like illusion effect thing i think it's censored so you know it doesn't fall on you but it looks like it's falling on you mall it was just so big like if you have guys seen my minnesota vlog I thought Minnesota Mall was big, like the Mall of America, but no, there is nothing that compares to the Dubai Mall. Like, you could be there for three days and you still would not finish it. So, I'm just advising you now, if you ever go, you will spend, yeah, we're actually going to go back again because I think it was so overwhelming for us this time that we didn't really know what we were doing or where we were going. So, this time we go, we actually have like dots we want to i mean stores we want to hit yeah i did have boba so if you weren't following my ig you should i'm doing a boba series so i will update that and so yeah that was pretty much it and then we went to anesh anesh was nice i like the customer service they were very attentive but of course we were one of the only people there so i would expect nothing less suya was amazing i definitely did love the suya but prices i'm not gonna lie to you guys you know i thought atlanta was doing too much with you know our food prices of like you know african food but no anesh you got it y'all got it <laughs> because i was like excuse me 13 dollars for coke for coco yeah i was like that doesn't make sense and everything else but like i said we came to dubai for an experience and we experienced it so and we were on the palm the palm is like gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous so 
yeah today that that was it for yesterday so today we are doing we're, we're basically leading up into the activities we are going to the Burj Khalifa we are also be going to Dubai frame and finally the Museum of the Future those activities each shouldn't be more than like two hours we booked actually through our hotel so our hotel actually has a service for that I'm, you guys I really love the service I just I love five star five star be forever and always okay um, and I'm like this is just five star so I can only imagine what resort style is like it's okay we're reaching levels we're gonna we're going we're going up so yeah we're just going to get ready this in the restroom adugo is here do you want to say hi hey girl yeah. <laughs> so yeah and with you guys i'm trying my hardest to speak but it, it's a bit hard for me you guys i'm just enjoying myself and you know when you enjoy yourself like when you truly enjoy yourself you don't really have to capture it so hopefully you're following me on instagram because i do post everything on instagram yeah anyway that is it from me i will try to do an outfit check i didn't really get to do an outfit check yesterday but picture here look at me the girl is fire i look like a rich babe i look like do you see me do you see it's okay habibi find me find me all right guys i'll check in with you guys later bye Okay guys, I'm gonna try to do an outfit check. So, the bag is from June's. Shout out to my mom and dad. They surprised me with this for a birthday present. So, here we are. The dress is from Olabel B F B T M. It's like a woman-owned brand. I don't know what collection this was part of, but this is the dress. My shoes, pearls as you can see, from Shein then jewelry so the earrings are from joey nyc real pearls out here so yeah this is the look you guys and then like i have a bow in the back hopefully y'all see it but yeah that's my outfit and we are we are there and then this is the face because the face is part of the look so that is it for me Gotta head over to breakfast, running late. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>
How was it? Um, it's a um, thank you. It's um an experience. You definitely feel like it's about to let go because they like y'all. Yeah, it's interesting. I'll say that. I get it. Yeah, Man, that's kind of crazy. Yo. Says, look at that behind the scenes. This is how we make movie magic, everyone. You see this? BTS. Ah, yes. 125 <laughs> floors above the earth. Ooh. Yes. Adukes. Peas. What? Vlog. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm weak. <laughs> Thank you. 
some ice cream. Um, I got strawberry frozen vegan yogurt, but it tastes really good. So yeah, and then Adugo. What did you get? Cookies and cream. That's me. All day long. <laughs> got the delicious flavor. So yeah. Now we're just going to enjoy ourselves. Tidbit about this place is that you should definitely book far out in advance. Because we got here, we thought we could just, you know, walk in. And mind you, we, we've came during the off season. So I can only imagine during <laughs> their high peak season. So definitely book your tickets beforehand. Um, yeah, it's very pretty, very futuristic looking. Like I am appalled by like, the creativity and ingenuity and in that word uniqueness of this place yeah and also just the fact that like it seems like this country is very family oriented everywhere we go there's like family related activities and events and also you can refill your bottle anywhere free refills and it's cold water refills so yeah Definitely, I'm already loving Dubai. I, I think I might move to Dubai. Me and Adugo will move to Dubai. So. We are here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream. Talk to you guys later. We're going back to our hotel. So I'll see you guys at the pool, hopefully. Bye. You guys so we're going to the pool but i'm going to show you uh no i said show do i know grammar i'm going to give you guys a tour of the hotel so yeah let's go This is the pool area, that's the hot tub. Kitty pool? Kitty pool, sorry, my bad. I thought it was hot tub. Oh, they even got ice cream. We got these towels. We're laying them down. Over there is the pool bar area. So if we want to get something, get turned, there you go. The pool. This pool has a weird layout. The middle is deep. The middle is deep. The middle is deep, but the outside is shallow. shallow. That's interesting. Yeah, but I guess it's because it's a weird shape. I don't know. And then there's also a restaurant. All right, you guys, so we're out here. It is hot, definitely hot. I'm definitely going to go inside the pool. I already put my hair all up and everything because I don't got time for these braids. So I'm gonna do so. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get inside this pool. Um, trying to see if we can get some food. They do have a menu. Yeah, the Bay menu. So. All right, guys, we came, we conquered. <laughs> we did the pool so we did it but cool thing we just saw is that from our hotel let me zoom in for you guys you can see the Dubai frame isn't that cool like <laughs> views we have views oh we ordered some food I know I look a hot mess right now don't worry we're gonna get ourselves cleaned up but yeah we're just waiting for our food to come and then you know, we just keep chilling and whatnot.
Hello. We are ready. We are going to a authentic Moroccan restaurant called Bab Al Mansur. I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, we are going there. Really love the ambiance so far based off of pictures. So we're gonna get there. We couldn't book a reservation. So if you're looking to book a reservation, you can't. It's first come, first serve. So yeah. Anyways, we are headed there because it's kind of late and we're hungry. So I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. We just finished breakfast, so now we're heading over to the Gold Souk. It's like 10 minutes away from us, and we're hoping to buy some things. Some, you know, abaya, some gold, some spices, some, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, we were just rushing this morning. At least I was rushing this morning. I should have done better. I was actually up before everyone. Yeah, I was, really like, I, I was up before everyone, but, <laughs> you know, content creator life. I was trying to post pictures, so <laughs> that's what happened. I'm hoping we'll have fun here and i will try to bring you guys along i don't know if i'm gonna really vlog i'm really enjoying myself and i tend to not remember if i vlog or not so hopefully i will see you guys there but in the meantime let's say hey good morning hi auto hi. good morning atugo good morning josh good morning angelo no cameras <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we've all tuned in. See you guys at the Gold Souk. Bye. This specific one. I hope I find it. Welcome to our channel again, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Today we are shopping. <laughs> let me let me let me tell y'all what's going on right now. We're being stalked. You see this man right here? See this man right here? He's been following us for the last 30 minutes. And his friend on the opposite side, too. His <laughs> wait, wait, his friends. Like Gang? <laughs> and we're trying to avoid them, but they don't want to avoid us. Literally. Told it. How many times did I tell them no? Like 15 times at least. Man, this man, like one of them frat dudes at one of them parties when you drunk, and he don't want to take no for an answer. If we're buying, like, five. Consent! <laughs> I need an adult! Oh, look at, look at them. Look at them shopping. Oh. Have yeah, yeah, that one, this, this color. So back to us. Um, we got this three piece set. We're going to fleet. Four this color. One My black, boy Josh. Finna. All of them. Habiti? How you spell How you pronounce it? Habiti? Habiti? Baby girl. We here. Come to me. Come to Dubai. Come to Dubai. PCP's trying to coordinate That's with her mother. This, this is one. nice. Excuse me. No, no, no. She doesn't want. Okay. No, doesn't. It looks nice. Okay, it looks nice. So you want maybe? You want to play? Oh. Uh, all right, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We're in the spice shop. What's good, y'all? Getting, getting spices. Spices. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the spices. Oh, look at them, shopping for spices. Uh, these are dried fruit. 
I think these are dried fruit. Yeah. Oh, cashews. Look out here, it's very busy. We've been out here for all of maybe an hour and we've been stopped by every single person we've passed by. Welcome to being black in Dubai. No one else has been stopped. Nobody it's really else. annoying. Yeah. I feel the negative energy. No thank you to trafficking. <laughs> no thank you to sexual assault. Yes. Okay. No means no everyone. No means no. Isn't that right, Josh? Bad. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at my man Josh making friends. Look at him. That beautiful young man. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Oh, made my little heart proud. Ain't that right to do go? Oh God, I am zoomed in like a mug. Let me zoom back out. There we go. I'm backed up. <laughs> He's haggling, got that serious face on. Elmo's <laughs> world. Where's yours at? Elmo's world. Would you would you like to shout out your store? Yeah, what store? Is this? What is it called? This, this one, Al Haiba. Al Haiba. And where? And where can they find you? Where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> Car right here. Scan this QR code. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta take the photo.
covering you guys. That was that was traumatizing. <laughs> like for real. I don't like roller coasters. <laughs> Okay, you guys, little update. We just finished with the ATV rides and also the camels. What y'all think? It was so much fun, oh my god, the camels are so cute. And then, well, the thing, my ATV broke down. Oh, but never mind yeah. that, it's okay, it all yeah. worked out. It all worked out. Do go. Screw time. It was so great, man. It was a great time, Animal Planet. I love it, mate. Oh my god. It. Yeah, you guys, it was amazing. And the fact that I didn't flip over is already a plus, so we thank God. Okay, I did get stuck. Okay, I did get stuck, but that's not the point. It's not my fault. You know, it's nature doing what nature does. So, yeah. You just lean back. Other foot, lean forward. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. 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 Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh -huh. What is that? A truck. <laughs> that flips. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's such a bunch of 
the case of Ladies and gentlemen, this one is a prize for Mario It's another two days after <laughs> I didn't get to update you guys for like the past two days because I was just having too much fun um, but also just we just had we woke up real early and then went to bed late so it's kind of like yeah a girl gotta sleep like please but anyway the first day that I could say that we really did activities we went to the Dubai frame the Burj Khalifa and the Museum of the Future the highlights of that, first of all, the Dubai frame, magnificent. Like, the building, the structure is magnificent. It is kind of scary when you finally get all the way to the top, but it was really worth it in my opinion. Also, you learn a little bit of history, so it's not just you like seeing the bottom, it's actually like learning about the history. And so we learned a lot about the founder of Dubai. And I don't know, it really hit home for me about how a good leader is for me characterized by how much they love their people how much they want to see their people grow and the fact that reading about the founder and doing my own little bit of research the man truly cared about seeing dubai prosper seeing it in the future and you know that's the type of visionaries that we need in the world and they're quite rare and it's so sad but i definitely enjoyed that then the burj khalifa yeah that was that was fun that was interesting but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> trying to get there 
I was just like, yo, because the first place we went by, like the taxi dropped us by, I guess it's for like the VIP type people, like the people who are staying in like the seven star hotel. Yes, there are seven star hotels before. So we can't enter those areas. So we had to go in through the Dubai Mall. And if you are familiar with Dubai Mall, it's really big. And so trying to figure it out, that was interesting. But when we finally got there, it was really interesting to learn about everything. Again, I just love like facts and history. Maybe it's like the nerd in me or whatever, but I just love learning about things like that. And then finally, we have the Museum of the Future. That was really fun. One thing you should know is book that well, well, well in advance because I thought we could just get there and, you know, pay. No, don't do that. Don't do that at all. But the first floors is free and then we got some ice cream and everything. That was fun. Pictures. If you follow my IG, you've already seen the pictures, so yeah. But yeah, definitely it was a really fun time. The only thing is that it was really hot, but again, I decided to come during their <laughs> high peak summer times. So there's that. And then from there, the next day, we went to the goat souk. So yeah, that was everything that we did the day before. In regards to like the goat souk and everything, I think I might update you guys when I come back because I'm actually, we're trying to get to our next <laughs> destinations and stuff. But just know, I have a whole story for that. Like, yeah, it was a very um, interesting time. But anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that, hey, your girl's here. I didn't forget about y'all. And yeah, that is it from me. I'll see you tuning with you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
just got back from our day I believe this is day four yeah day four officially day four so we just got back but let me give y'all the little rundown of what happened yesterday so yesterday we went to the gold souk and if you don't know what the gold souk is it's basically just like a market where they sell things habayas I mean abayas um, spices oud oils perfumes all that other jazz but the cool thing about it is that you can sometimes like haggle in order to get the cost to something that you like which i personally enjoy so it's not like a set price it's just based off of how well you haggle so we were going different places and whatnot i will say when we first stepped out of the car it was kind of interesting so i feel like our driver um we ordered a taxi he just dropped us off in like a random location that is around the gold souk but isn't necessarily the gold souk he should have dropped of dropped us off at gate three so if you ever come to dubai type in gate three gold souk and that is where they're supposed to like drop you off but either way when they dropped us off immediately like literally immediately these guys they started basically like telling us oh come 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 and you know being nigerian i I could tell that they were like Nigerian from Ibadan or whatever and they were just trying to like get us to go and follow them to a gold souk and whatnot but me my eyes were set on an abaya that caught my eye on another store so I went to that store and they tried to start following me saying that oh it's gonna be expensive here go somewhere else it's gonna be expensive here either way I went in there my friend Angelo and my brother actually found something there so good for them but then my friend Angelo I guess he was looking for like gold or something no like a watch and what else and i was looking for like an organza a buy wanted one so they were like oh they have another person so i guess all of them are in cah not cahoots that's the wrong word that sounds bad but they 
basically they help each other bring customers in so they took us i will say this my alert wasn't on and i think it was just because we had guys in our group so i i think i did like let let go of my guard a little bit but they took us to like this alley and i'm not gonna lie guys it was very sketch and i think if i was by myself i would have been like no i'm not going there but we went there i did buy a scarf there and whatnot but yeah it was very sketch and i will never do that again i've learned my lesson hopefully my parents are not watching this because i know they're gonna scold me so badly but yeah don't do what i did and even my other friend autumn she's really good at reading people's energy she off the jump it was a very scary experience for her i'm not even gonna lie because oh you know, the rest of us are nigerian and we've all gone to marketplaces so we know how it goes but as soon as that happened she was not feeling she was you know not feeling well and i feel so bad like i feel so bad that that was like her first encounter because the gold souk or marketplace in general can be really fun so i just i hate that that happened but we started going into the center of the gold souk which is where everything is and y'all i'm not even gonna lie i was so pissed off because when i started going to different stores the prices were cheaper so basically whatever you see on the outskirts of the gold souk don't buy anything from there because it's not gonna be cheap go inside the gold souk like go inside um and you will know that you're inside because you basically see like um brown wood like beams and chairs inside yeah go inside there and the prices were so much cheaper we ended up going to this one store and basically i bought everything i wanted like also shout out to my mom my mom who is in america right now this woman haggled i called her on whatsapp because i was trying to show her a dress um of something she wanted i kid you not you guys she literally haggled the man <laughs> on the phone and she <laughs> i was like I was like I need to get on that level how do you haggle someone and you're not even in the country you're not even you're not you're not in the city the country the continent I was shook like I was like yeah I need to do better and it's so funny because my mom is good at haggling but my dad oh you don't want to see that man in action he really knows how to haggle either way it was hilarious and I ended up actually shopping with that guy because I was like well if my mom could haggle him down and everything that means you know i can work with him and i literally got all the things i wanted and yes it was a bit more expensive than i wanted to spend but i got everything i wanted so i wanted to get gifts for certain people some of them like aunties whenever they travel they always get me something so i was like this is my turn to get them something my parents my sister etc 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 so yeah that was that and then after we went to the gold soup then went to the desert safari type thing and i actually love this package you know telling me everything that needed to be done so i love that you know and then they also asked if i wanted to update my package to like a vip section and honestly I felt like with the day that me and my friends had, it was like best for us to have like VIP lounge. So I updated us, it was like $15 per person. But the desert was so much fun and I'm so happy we did it because we were low key thinking of canceling it because if you don't know right now in August, July and August are like the, the hottest months of Dubai. And when I say hottest, I mean it's reaching 104, 105, 110, 110 daily. Yeah, not pleasant. And so we were scared that, oh, we're not gonna have fun you guys we had so much fun and literally doing it made me realize oh my goodness i am so happy we didn't cancel this because i would not have known what we had lost you get me so it was so much fun we did sandboarding camera riding atv riding and then they also provided barbecue grill it was so much food y'all i couldn't even finish my food like it was so much with it like as soon as they brought one thing they were already bringing another thing drinks were unlimited i was just like seeing what i saw here in dubai they really do be charging and taxing in america and it's just like I, I get it like you know the standard of living and everything but it's just like still though there are certain things that i'm just like how are we getting all of this for this price anyway that's another story for another day we're not going about to get into the politics of <laughs> this country of um, america but yeah it was so much fun and then our um tour guide sam so if you ever want to do the desert survivor book with sam he made it so much fun and they also provide transportation to and from your hotel so just imagine all of that 100 100 maybe like 25 dollars per person amazing it was just so much and then you also get free henna we didn't do henna but you get free henna and you also get 
their little marketplace you can buy stuff from as well it was just so amazing you guys like it was so so good all of us had so much fun if you're on instagram you've already seen all my pictures and junk so there's that so yeah it was just it was so 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 good and then today we went to just two places we went to the Ar al watan it's uh the, like the presidential palace and then we also went to the louvre i know i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm sorry i should have been known how to pronounce it but it's like that french museum but it's the dubai version basically and so we went to the palace you guys i'm not even gonna lie to you I was like, let me marry into some Arab money. I'm not <laughs> because when I saw that palace, I was like, this is exactly what I want in my house. I want this. You see this gold? I want it. You guys, you guys, the pictures do not do it justice. Like the place is so awe dropping, breathtaking as soon as you um ride the bus to get to the palace grounds i was so shook and it honestly made me want to tear up a little bit because i was just like there really there really is a god who gave people the creativity to build and do things like this and who pay attention to the little details that's one thing if you don't know about me i'm a very detail oriented person literally almost everything i do is very detailed some of the pictures the way i organize my outfits blah 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 blah, blah is very detailed so like i expect that also in my home but this place was detailed to a whole nother level and it made me just be like lord bless me with money please bless me with money <laughs> So we did that and then we went to the Louvre Museum and that was really interesting, really nice museum with artwork and whatnot. It's very architecturally unique and I got some cute photos there and then we went to a restaurant there which it was it was not the restaurant we actually initially thought it was. So we thought we were going to the museum cafe but it, they have a restaurant on the in the museum and then the museum cafe in addition to. So we went to the restaurant and you know, I was looking at those prices and I was like, ooh, it's a bit pricey, but honestly, they came through. And our waitress, if they haven't given her a raise, they need to go ahead and give her a raise. Because the way she was, like, stealth mode, like, I didn't even notice when she would refill my glass and clean up the area at all. Like, it was actually quite scary because I was like, it seems like you've done, you've done this before, you know? When I'm <laughs> not trying to throw any shade, but it was just so interesting. So, yeah. It was really good then we explored the museum that museum i would say they said it would take an hour but honestly i would say maybe two hours because if you stop and read everything yeah but it was so nice just just knowing the history of things understanding things and understanding the origin of things i don't know i i just love learning things and appreciating people and appreciating you know all this all the things that we have to offer in this world and i just hope one day like as my name is peace i really do wish for world peace like it's not even no joke like i'm being so serious because it's like we are so talented as a as a as a, you know as humanity as you know like we're just so talented and i just cannot describe it so yeah we got back and i just ordered chauffeur service for that because of the previous day with the whole you know suit thing oh yeah that's the other thing so transportation i would say yeah book like your private chauffeur and everything but if you want to deal with taxis deal with the taxis during the times that make sense i don't know how to really describe that you have to kind of be here um because the taxis are cheaper most definitely than the chauffeur service but for some reason the app which is called kareem it's not optimized the way uber and lyft is if you work with that so you'll get a bit frustrated for me i was a bit frustrated since i was the one handling that and it's just very hard because the, your location like it will literally be there and they will not go to the location that the pin is pointing at they'll go to somewhere where like you put in the address but it's not the exact address it was y'all it was so confusing so i just went ahead and did a show for service today it was a bit more pricey but listen convenience i don't got time for stress so we did that we got back we got back basically around eight and so now i'm here took a shower in bed and yeah that is me so yeah just want to give you a good update but honestly i'm so happy i'm so thankful yesterday i did a picture of me like with the sunset and everything and you guys like i'm so thankful to the lord i'm doing things that my ancestors have never 
done have never thought to do have never even been given the chance to do and i'm only 24 of course turning 25 and when i say i thank god that he even allowed me to be able to take this trip because i'm not gonna lie if it weren't for my friends and my family i really wasn't gonna go on this trip because i've had a semi tough year literally the beginning of the year just different things started happening and i was just like i don't feel like i'm in the mood i don't see what's the point of me going on this trip considering everything but the lord has been so faithful to me and i think going on this trip made me realize again how faithful the lord has been to me that i'm able to afford this trip that i'm able to go on a trip and enjoy the luxuries that i'm enjoying yeah i give praise to the almighty almighty god because he truly came through and just being in the desert i just felt like me and god there was a direct 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 connection and i just cannot thank him enough i can't thank god enough i can't thank my parents enough i can't thank my family my sister my brother i can't thank my friends literally like night that we went to the moroccan authentic place like we did a whole game and they were talking about me and you guys i cried because i was just like there are people in this world who care about me this much and honestly i don't feel like i deserve it because i'm just like you know i'm we're not gonna cry but yeah i'm gonna stop talking there before i start crying i'm just truly grateful and i'm so thankful to be able to do this trip so yeah that is it for me you guys <laughs> i'm not gonna cry on camera i need to dial it down but yeah that is it i'm going to um tune in with you guys some other time uh, well i'll tune in with you guys tomorrow so yeah that's it from me bye <laughs>
It's my birthday. Yeah. I'm officially 25. I don't even know how to feel. Like, I don't even feel 25. I still feel like I just turned 20. But um, I just want to say thank you to the most high for allowing me to reach this year. Especially this year. I don't know about this year and last year. I've just seen so many deaths. Um, especially of young people, people who are younger than me, and then people of the same age. And the fact that I'm able to see another year, I'm truly grateful. I don't take it for granted to wake up healthy, fine. Um, I'm so grateful and I'm thankful. And I don't know, I thank God for my friends, my family, for allowing me to see another, you know, now them being with me to see another year with me. I thank God for allowing me to be on this trip. Like, honestly, there's just so much to thank God for, but... Your girl's 25. Go ahead, hit the cash shop, hit the, you know, the Zelle, you know, sponsor the girl. <laughs> all jokes, all jokes. Yeah, I just wanted to tune in. I feel like for the past two days, I haven't been tuning in. Yesterday, it was really chill. We went to the mall. We actually went back to the ghost soup, me, my brother, and Adugo to buy some last minute things. And then we went to the mall to watch like the Burj Khalifa show, the fountain show and the Burj Khalifa show. That was beautiful. Y'all should have saw that. But yeah, we did that. And then we basically ended the night right around like 1 a.m. And then got back, slept in, did what we wanted to do. And I have my birthday dinner tonight. So yeah, that's exciting. I'm trying to now get freshened up. Yes, I look dusty, but that's why we're gonna go freshen up. So yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys and I will check, I hopefully, you know, talk to you later. But in the meantime, a video should have dropped. It's like 25, 25 tips, suggestions, now being 25. So yeah, hopefully that's already out. You should check that out. But I'll see you guys after I finally get glammed and all cute and junk. So yeah, bye bye. Check out what the hotel just did for me. They brought me cake. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Sheraton. This is so, so sweet. You guys, my friends, my brother, amazing. Look at this. Ah! And look at the details. Look at the details. See, see the pearls? And it matches my dress. Like... And of flowers because I love flowers and and it's red velvet it's red velvet cake y'all yeah, y'all are amazing final day um we are packed and ready to go we are so sad right on we are so sad that we are leaving the wonderful dubai but we enjoyed our time so grateful to all my folks my friends for coming yesterday was amazing and i'm just hoping we can come to dubai really soon but i am so happy for this trip and i'm so happy you guys tuned in so uh, i hope you enjoyed please remember subscribe like and share and follow me on my socials so yeah i'll check in with you guys later bye